So today I'm filming the I Heart Fall tag, which is a tag that's been going around the beauty community recently. I absolutely love this tag. It's been like one of my favorite things to watch recently. Um, Miss Jen Fabulous I actually started this tag and she tagged me, which is awesome because I feel like the creator of tags like never ends up like tagging me. But I'm super excited that she tagged me. I was also tagged by Miss Glamorazzi. I was also tagged by Marissa Lates. I was also tagged by Sarah Bonner 3 x as well as Super Duper Rad, who's Chelsea, and quite a few other people who t tweeted me and were like, hi, I tagged you, and I was like, yes. In this video, you're gonna see kind of close-ups of products that I mentioned, you'll be like, Megan, why are you in a different outfit? This is actually my third attempt at filming this video. The first time, I deleted all the clips except for that one, and the second time, it was so dark, you couldn't see anything, and it's just, it's been a, it's been a mess. It's been a learning experience, so I'm sorry that that might get a little confusing. But basically, this tag is all about fall, which is one of my favorite seasons. It has 10 questions, so let's hop right in and do it. The first question is, what is your favorite fall lip product? I have two, both by the same brand. One I'm actually wearing right now, and these are the Glamazon lipsticks by Tarte, and this one is in Playful. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's basically just a really gorgeous, really pretty, plummy color. It's one of my favorite things ever, ever, ever right now. I don't know why, I just love how it looks so much. It's super pretty, and these last for so long, which is like my favorite thing about them because I feel like really intense lip colors. If they don't last long, they're gonna start like fading and bleeding and cracking and looking like meh, not cute. These last for so long that I feel like I can apply it in the morning and go the entire day, and my lip color will still be looking banging. And the next one is the lipstick in Wild by Tarte, and that is just basically a true bright red color. It's my favorite red on me. I wore it in my Taylor Swift Weird Ever Getting Back Together music video spoof parody tutorial kind of thing. If you haven't seen that, I'll have that linked right here. But that's what I wore in that. Everyone was really into that lip color. I'm super into that lip color. I get tons of compliments when I wear it, and I've been advising all of my friends to buy it because it's such a pretty, pretty, pretty true red color. The second question is, what are your favorite fall nail polishes? I don't know why I had to throw in an accent there. It just happened. We're just gonna go along with it. I have three because I love cheating in life and not doing what people tell me. <laughs> the first one is Ladylike by Essie. Essie! Ladylike by Essie, which is just a like a mauvey, dusty, roseish, pinky color. It's really pretty. I love how it looks on the nail. Um, it's one of my favorite colors to wear in the fall time. It makes me feel very mature. Like I feel like if I ever met the queen, that's like the color I would wear. This color is Warm and Fozzy by OPI. This is from the Muppets collection from last year. And it basically just looks like warm, delicious, cocoa-y, shimmery, brownie, sparkly color on your nails. I don't know how to describe it other than it looks warm and fuzzy. Um, but I'm a huge fan of this one. It's one of my favorite ones. I wore it all, all, all last fall. And the last one is one of my all-time favorite nail polishes in general, and it's Mrs. O'Leary's Barbecue. And it looks like barbecue sauce, which seems like a very unappealing color to have on your nails, but in all actuality, it looks really nice. So I'm just a huge fan of it. It's really opaque and like super vampy and man, 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 man. That was like my sexual dance, but it's not sexual. Number three, favorite fall Starbucks drink. My roommate Justine actually works at Starbucks, so I feel like I'm constantly there. Um, though I'm really boring, the only thing I ever really get aside from like a plain hot green tea it, or like the vanilla rubu mm, that thing, um, I'll get a soy chai latte, but I don't do that as often. Um, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not a huge Starbucks drinker. Like I love drinking Starbucks, but I personally like my own teas and stuff better, but their chai, that is to die for. Number four, favorite fall candle. I'm actually burning Cider Lane right now, so my room smells delicious like a caramel apple. That's one of my favorites, but my all-time favorite is something that everyone else loves because I like conforming and it just smells really good, okay? Leaves, 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 leaves. This is my brand new one. I haven't burned it yet. Oh, it smells like crack, like, I, I literally have no idea what crack smells like, and crack is why I can don't do drugs, children, but God, it smells freaking good. I love it. It's there's no words to describe. It just smells like fall. It smells like autumn. It does not smell like leaves because, to be honest, I did smell a patch of leaves one time to see if it compared. It didn't. I was heavily disappointed. Heavily, thoroughly disappointed. Number five favorite fall scarf or accessory. And my favorite fall scarf is my favorite accessory. Um, and this is a scarf that I bought two years ago, I think, from H&M. And it's just like a multi-colored cheetah print. It's so pretty. I don't know why I just love this cheetah print so much. It flows very nicely. It's not too thin. It's not too thick, but it just looks so nice on. And I'm just such a huge fan of this scarf. Um, I just love cheetah print scarves in general, especially because you can wear them with brown and black, and you don't feel like you're clashing or anything like that. Number six, haunted house, haunted hayride, or haunted corn maze. I've cheated and I looked at what it said. It's whatever. Don't judge me. If I had to choose, I definitely have to say haunted nothing. 
I'm a scaredy cat. I get terrified of those things. I've never been through any of the above, but fun fact, if you guys didn't know, I'm actually like an acting major. I've been acting since I could like crawl, like breathe. Um, but when I was back in middle school and in high school, I used to do the haunted house at my, at my, in my like town area. Like we would put on this huge haunted house. We had this whole like barn rented out. It sounded like I literally live in like Hicksville, nowhere. I swear I didn't. Um, but we'd have that all rented out and it would be like decorated and crazy and like we'd have pathways. Like I don't even know how people did it. Like it was like literally construction and it was so cool and I actually got to be in it every year. So I was like one of the people who would scare other people. So where I'm too scared to go through haunted house, like I'm actually that girl who's terrifying you while you're going through the haunted house. That's like my life. Number seven, favorite Halloween movie. I love all the Disney Channel original movies, so Halloween Town is one of my favorites, but not the one with the blonde girl, no. The original, like the girl who was in Quinn's, like OG, original gangster, Halloween Town movie. That original one was really good. Um, second one was pretty good, but I also love like um, Mom's Got a Day with the Vampire and Phantom of the Megaplex. Those kind of like Halloween themed movies or any of those that play on Disney Channel like around like Halloween time, I absolutely love those. Like I still love watching those and I still totally do watch those. No shame. Number eight, favorite candy to eat on Halloween. I am not a huge candy eater. I don't really have a sweet tooth. I definitely lean towards more of the savory things, but I like dark chocolate, so plain dark chocolate. But if we're talking about like favorite fall food, I love anything with like pumpkin and cinnamon and apples and stuff like that. Number nine, what are you dressing up as for Halloween? <sighs> Well, as you guys know, I'm a college student, and in college, apparently Halloween has to last a week, and I have to have like 15,000 different costumes, which was news to me last year, and it was a struggle to find some costumes. I know for sure what two of my costumes are going to be. The first one, uh, my roommates, Delaney, Justine, and I are going to be the seasons, so I'm going to be winter, of course, because I'm obsessed with winter and jolly things and Christmas, and so that is the costume that I need to like get my hands on and figure out how to do that, but winter, and then I know I'm also going to be a mermaid one night, and I'm super excited for that, so if you guys want to see like, a mermaid makeup tutorial, like how I'm planning on doing my makeup for Halloween, like all mermaid coolly inspired, definitely thumbs up this video so I know that you guys want to see it. Um, because I'm definitely really into like the whole like mermaid actual makeup of that part of Halloween because I think that's going to be like a costume that the makeup really like plays a huge part so I'm super excited about that. I'm not saying what I plan on wearing on Halloween is going to be inappropriate but it's going to be inappropriate for middle schoolers going to a Halloween themed dance if you get what I mean. Number 10, what's your favorite thing about fall? I have two favorite things about fall. Oh, that's four. I'm into. Um, the first one is definitely the fashion. I just love fall fashion. I love layers. I love like big, chunky, cozy sweaters with boots and leggings. I live in leggings. So I love stuff like that. But more than that, I really love fall food. Fall is my favorite season to cook in. So recently, I've been making like everything with pumpkin. I made homemade spiced pumpkin soup. I was making pumpkin scones and apples, cinnamon, pumpkin y like. Um, oat cookies and yummy things like that. I just love cooking in the fall time. I've been breaking out my slow cooker so my entire house is like smells so good all the time. So I think that's one of my favorite things about fall is definitely cooking. Not just eating the food that I make. I love eating the food I make but I love cooking during the fall time because it's just so jolly and makes the house all warm and smells super good. So I love Hey you guys, that is the entire tag. I really love this tag. It's definitely one of my favorite tags I think I've ever filmed. So thank you so much, Jen, for creating this. And thank you so much, Ingrid and Sarah and Marissa and Chelsea and Jen for tagging me into this video. And I'm going to tag all of you guys, all of my viewers, every single one of you. I feel like I sounded like Antonio Banderas there for a second. I don't know if that was just me in my head, but it could have been. But I want to make sure I tag every single one of you guys. I am such a huge fan of this tag, it's so much fun, and fall is such a fun season, and I think the beauty community is just like really into fall, so definitely make sure to film this video and leave it as a video response. I want to watch it, and I want to stalk you, and see what you like about fall, because I am creepy, and we're just going to accept it. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Today I'm going to doing a video I was always wondering if I wanted to keep that painting up, but I guess that's going to be a no. We're just going to keep that wall blank. It's not meant to happen. It's just not meant to be.